Fabio, thanks for joining us on, on FATV. We're um, building up to a, a very important game, England's final qualifier, and, and hopefully the one that will seal our place at the Euros. How excited are you about Montenegro on Friday evening? Well, it will be a very important game. It will be a tough game because uh, I know the atmosphere will be really noisy and the uh, fans will uh, help a lot of uh, the Montenegro team. But uh, I think uh, we will play a, a good game. And uh, I know uh, which uh, kind of team I will select because I need to wait uh, for the next game, the weekend games uh, that the uh, England teams uh, are playing. And uh, it will be very important uh, if the best player will be fit. Looking back on our, our previous two games, we, we, we went to Bulgaria and won and then, and then beat Wales, so got six points. That was the most important thing. What were the things that pleased you and, and, and what weren't you as pleased about those two matches? Against Bulgaria, we played a really good game away and uh, we won uh, an important game. But uh, the performance was really, really good. Uh, we, we created a lot of chances. Uh, the Bulgaria didn't have uh, a lot of chances to score, defending well, attacking well. And uh, I was really happy. Against uh, Wales, uh, we didn't play well. We, we won, it was the most important thing. But uh, the performance was not the same that uh, we played uh, against uh, Bulgaria. It's uh, easier to play away when you've got uh, some players fast, last, uh, like the England. And uh, you find space, you can attack the space. And the other team, when you play home, you need to go to the, uh, forward. And uh, sometimes uh, when you play here in, uh, in Wembley, uh, we got some problem when you need to attack and uh, we try to arrive uh, with uh, passes, but the uh, opponents, when you play here defending very well uh, and they uh, play the counter-attack also well. For the reason, we, we find uh, some problems and uh, also the pressure that uh, we find here uh, when you play uh, at Wembley is different, the pressure that we find uh, when you play away. Since the last uh, two matches, Montenegro have changed their manager. Do you think that has any effect on, on their players, their team, their outlook? I don't know. If decided for this, uh, probably the players or the president was not happy with uh, th uh, this manager because uh, the points that uh, got uh, on the table is very really important points. And uh, if the side for this, uh, probably they prefer uh, the, another coach, the, 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 the old coach. But uh, normally when you change something, uh, the players, uh, they think they are more involved in the project. It will be more difficult for us. You, one, of your, um, one of your friends, you've, you said after the Wales game you would speak to Giovanni Trapattoni about his experiences of Montenegro. Have you spoken to him and, and what advice has he given you for this game? Yeah, he told me you need to be careful in every moment uh, when you go to the hotel, when you go to, to the beach, to the dressing room, the corridors, uh, up and something, that game. I think for us it will be different because we are ready for everything that we can happen. You need to go to win this game, not to play for the draw, because the draw, if you play for the draw, it's a big mistake, because um, you are not focused really on the game. You are playing to defend the result, and when you defend the result, you can do some mistakes. Silly mistakes, or stupid mistakes, <laughs> but mistakes. And uh, you need to go to play the same style that we played, uh, the game that we played away. I just want to ask about some, some players that have been suggested as could be part of this squad. Um, we, we'll find out on, on Sunday evening. But um, obviously you've watched QPR recently and, and Sean Wright Phillips is, is playing more regularly. He's been involved before. He was at the World Cup in South Africa but hasn't been involved in recent squads. Is there a, a possibility he could be involved in this squad? But uh, you need to wait uh, after the last game on Sunday. Uh, he is one of the players that uh, I know better because he stayed with, with the national team for uh, long times and with me for, for, a lot, for a lot of games, many games. And uh, he are playing really well. I don't know if uh, T or other players, they are some little problems will be fit. After uh, Sunday evening, I will decide about 
You mentioned uh, Theo Walcott's uh, missed a couple of games for Arsenal. Uh, one of the younger players who's come who's come in for him, Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Have you been impressed with how well he's done at such a young age? Yes, uh, Chamberlain is a really interesting player. He's a good player, and uh, he got uh, the quality as a player is uh, really the really high level. He's young, and uh, is uh, really he will be a really interesting player for the next game. That uh, we play, friend the gate will play before to go to the Euros. I hope this will happen. <laughs> Have you been um, pleased with the way those kind of young players are, are, are kind of stepping up in the Champions League? He's obviously scored in the Champions League this week. Danny Welbeck, you know, at a young age, has also scored a couple of goals in the Champions League. Does, does it help when when those young players almost have no fear in, in the biggest club competition in Europe? Yeah, I think uh, when you play these games and. Um, for the players to score goal in this competition is really, really important to improve, to find the confidence in, in the, his quality, in their quality, and uh, also they can improve uh, quicker. When you play normally games uh, with the Premier League, you can score, but it's normal to score. It's the same when you play with the national team and you score goal. It's really, really important.